Hi, this is Clint Kern with Southern Gospel 2 at the National Quartet Convention, and I'm standing between, uh, uh, I guess, one of America's premier families, uh, the Perrys, and uh, you guys have a legacy uh, that, matter of fact, this is 40 years. 40 years. 40, 40 years. long years. Uh, yes. And, uh, brother, how long, now, how long have y'all been married? Be 24 years in November. 24 years. But now, evangelistically speaking, 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, God has has been so good to the parents and used, right. used y'all uh, just uh, number one song after number one song. And, and God's blessed with two great new singers. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Joseph's not new, but uh, but Brian, uh, I, I, when I spoke to Brian, I told him he stepped in and, and it's just you guys never missed a beat. Just, uh, I mean, God has he's blessed. He's he's a great God. He's a great okay. God. And uh, Brother Tracy, God's been good to you. And you've you've had uh, you've had some some health issues. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I had you know, open heart surgery over a year ago now, and just this, this week in convention last year that I the doctors cleared me to try to come back out on the road. And I hung around a little bit each night, but we were still recovering. But yeah. I've, Man, I'm doing great. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm healthier now than I've probably have been in 25 years, honestly. And so, uh, very blessed, and uh, everything's going good. Uh, the Lord's been above and beyond more gracious than I would ever deserve. And I uh, believe He's helped me keep it straight and narrow and cook my food and give the medications all lined out. And uh, she's. Uh, Prayers of God's people and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ that we're laid right here is why I'm here. Everything's yes, sir. great. Everything's good. Well, you honestly helped not only nurse him back to health, but how much weight have you lost, brother? 98 and a half pounds at this point. She's lost 47, 48 pounds just doing it with me. I mean, I, that's what I say. I go to the gym. She's on the treadmill beside of me. I mean, we, we use uh, each other for support. Absolutely. Yeah. It's easier when two. Yeah, absolutely. Well, real quick, just give us a health tip as far as some healthy cooking tips. I, I know you have plenty. Matter of fact, my wife follows many of your recipes. Right, right. Um, the, the, the main thing, I had to learn to cook all over because I was raised in the South where oh, yeah. you cook everything in grease and butter. And um, so now we, I use the spray butter and the spray olive oil and... Um, we just, I don't cook nothing out of a can or a box mm -hmm. because the sodium is the worst enemy with with heart trouble, diabetes, Absolutely. all of that stuff. And people don't realize what they're taking in daily. And um, the average American will take in 4,500 to 5,000 milligrams of sodium a day and you're only supposed to have 1,500. Wow. And uh, so the Watch the fat, watch the carbs, watch the cholesterol, and watch the sodium. Well, from the last 40 years, we're looking maybe now, especially with you, brother, about 40 more years. And I hope that, uh, that would be awesome. I'm, look, like. I'm looking at a, probably another 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, well, real quick, the, the latest album, Blue Skies, uh, you sang the song, my friend, Monday Night, right? The, the title of that. What's the latest single that's going to be coming out? Uh, well, I, we really don't know after Blue Sky. Blue Sky's just hit. Um, well, libby has got a, a brand new CD out, a solo CD. First time ever, 40 years. And they're talking, uh, they're going to release a song of that. And she had special guests on that one. She had Joel Wolf and Mark Trammell sing a song with her. Jeff and Jerry used to do a song with her. The Sisters. They do a song with her, the Bluegrass Group, Baby and Vincent. They do a song yeah. with her, and so all that's still in the air of what song they're going to pull for a single. So that, that'll go out to radio also. So a lot of, lot of things will be going to radio. Mm -hmm. Well, we got are. a new DVD coming out in November. Yeah. And uh, so got a lot of arms in the fire. There are names that uh, that are thrown out. Best of Goodman, I'm sure that that you, but. The, the day is not far removed from where we are. Where people are going to be saved for the event period. That's that, that's that's my heat. That's my. I say that already. I think y'all are crazy. Uh, well, that, 
I, you know, and, and I take that as a compliment, but, you know, I just enjoy oh. doing the calling that God's placed on my life. And, you know, all of this other stuff is just added blessings that, like you know, um, if we stay faithful and we persevere, then He will bless you with, you know, extra blessings. And, you know, I just enjoy, you know, doing what I'm doing, doing it with my family, and uh, traveling with the greatest guy mm -hmm. that I can do. Brother, was it, was it Monday night that you sang, sang the song, Brother George? Uh, yeah. yeah. Morning, I, I, I was talking to, uh, I believe it was Jeff Chip uh, that I was talking to, and uh, this will, this will, I know we might inflate your ego, but we were talking, I was talking about who was his favorite bass singer, and uh, of course Tim Riley from Gold City. Uh, the next name that he mentioned uh, was this young man, Harry Tracy. Uh, Jeff's, and, uh, Jeff's and, a phenomenal. I tell Libby there's three guys I think are so underrated that don't get the nose rider that they should and that's Jeff Pearls, Jeff Chapman, and Gerald Williams. Oh yeah. So, Gerald's been around forever so people just assume but man what a scene for holy cow all three of those guys they're incredible so, you, know. well, you can hear that uh, you can hear that you can hear a song just the first couple of lines and you'll recognize right off the bat that's the parents. And, and uh, that you had that unmistakable bottom end that you know, adds to that and rounds that out. And, and I'm glad the Lord has, has touched you and blessed you. And I'm glad that I'm talking to you face to face and one on one uh, rather than talking about you. Oh, exactly. I appreciate it. So Tracy had a motto last year. Um, somebody come up to me and said, You know, good to see you. And Tracy said, Well, he said, It better be seen than you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for, thank you. for, for taking the time to talk with us. And pastors, promoters, it, it, it goes without saying. Uh, I know you guys, are, the Lord it uses y'all all, all the time. And so it goes without saying, but listen, if you're needing a group for your church, a camp meeting, concert, call these guys. And uh, I, I've been in church services with you guys. I've been in concerts with you guys. And I can say personally that, that I've, I've felt the Spirit of God in, in both in both atmospheres. That's what, well, that's what it's about. That's yeah. what I admire about you guys. Is, is uh, just uh, give yourself no matter who you are. Well, that's all you can do. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.